What's up, y'all? Uh, this is Chris with Built Box Study Info. Good morning. Um, got a little something different to show you today. If you look at my screen here, eh, it's not going to focus in, but uh, matter of fact, we'll go down and I'll show you real quick. You'll see that underneath the voltage, I now have a puff counter. And this, uh, which is my original Blanca that I got back in January of uh, 2021 uh, has 86,000 hits. How do you do that? Well, you have to hook up to eScribe, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you probably don't have what you need there at you know currently at your house, but what you'll need is a cable. It's got this uh, five pin connector on one end and uh, USB on the other end, and uh, this one is made by friendly flipper I mean, you can make your own cable you know you can actually just individually make the pins and but you got to get this board from evolve that allows you to connect uh, if you took that shrink wrap off I'm pretty sure this is an evolve board so anyway um so what we're gonna need to do is plug this in somewhere on here and I'm gonna show you how to get to that so um, before we get started I want to say that first of all I'm going to hit this. You want to make sure that you're safe as possible. Take your battery out. Uh, and as we can, you can see here, this one is still set up default the way BuiltBox has it set. It's got the amps, your ohms, and your voltage. So let's, we're going to pop this battery out, which needs to be replaced anyway. And we don't want, I don't have any voltage just in case we hit the wrong places. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the second note that I want to make is uh, I don't think Billet Box Vapor wants us doing this, and I don't recommend you doing it if you don't feel comfortable doing it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm an actual electronics technician by trade. Um, I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything, but, you know, I work around electronics. I mean, to be honest, if I really was doing this, uh oh, what do we got going on here? Where did that juice come from? Oh, I got a little juice on this side somehow. Guess I had a leak earlier. Um, if I was going to do this for work or, you know, working on some soldering or what, you know, working on component level board stuff, I would have uh, ESD wrist strap on to avoid any ESD discharge. So anyway, what we're going to have to do, you know, on your billet box, you probably got, or, you know, some billet boxes, you're going to have your factory um enter on there but here i've got a mission switch so we'll go ahead and pop these four screws out set those aside and this one should just pop right out if you're having problem getting your inners front order well i didn't do a front video but anyway um the cerakote billets are a little a little uh tighter to disassemble this only works with the dna 60 boards the dna 40 uh do not have this uh connection to be able to do this so what we want to do is there are one two three four five holes at the bottom of this this uh, DNA 60 board uh, those the hole is there but the around the edge that's an actual electrical connection so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get this ribbon out of the way to access the middle three holes here so the way you do that is this right here that holds your ribbon cable right there on so you just flip that back and another thing I want to know, if you can get your board, pull it up some, which I don't bother doing. Uh, I, I worry a little bit because you don't want to break this cable, obviously, because that connects to your screen on the other side. And in order to uh, fix that, you'll have to buy a new screen with the uh, connector and everything built in, which isn't that big a deal. Actually, it's not on that side. It's just on the other side of the board. So, um so we've got this lifted up what you're going to there's a little hole on the ribbon cable 
that you could stick this little pointer. This comes with the kit with the uh, friendly flipper made. Just pull that down. Sometimes it's not going to come all the way out, so you're going to have to carefully kind of hit it from both sides and lift that out of there. And at this point, it's loose. I just like to kind of pull it out of the way a little bit. Now you can see your five holes there. So flip that down for now. And we've still got our battery out, so nothing's going to happen when we plug this in. Uh, it's not got this particular cable doesn't have you know this way that way whatever so you got to guess uh, I've gotten to the point where on this particular cable the th the side that's uh, you can notice the pins on the top they're closer to the top than the bottom this side if I hit this right is right here so you're just going to take those five pins drop them in these five holes and there we have it so now when we pop a battery in, we should hear my computer connect. There you go. So I'm just going to set this down. And we're going to go over to eScribe, which, by the way, you'll have to download eScribe. So here we go. This is eScribe. And we'll walk you through this. It auto-detected, if you can see that, let's see if you can see, y'all can't see that on your screen, but it auto-detected Evolve DNA 60, so now you should see that it's downloading settings. So, right away you'll see that my power is set at 45 watts, and you can do all sorts of stuff in East Gravel, I'm not going to go through it, but this is what, so first of all you can go, to find out how many hits you have, you can actually go to Device Monitor. Which, wow, actually, I didn't think about this. You're not going to be able to see it. I got 35,975 hits on this device. I'm going to close that because you didn't get to see it anyway. So what we're going to do to get... You can go to your theme here. And you can change things here. Or you can go to your screen. And this is where you will change what you see on the screen. Uh, to get the hit counter where I have it, I'm, I'm just verifying that y'all can see what I'm doing here you can okay um you got ohms voltage current just take this drop down list you can put whatever you want here but uh you can put your material name profile name whatever I put puff count and then at this point hit upload settings to device and it's going to upload what we just set to the device and close that out pull our cable off and you heard the computer say okay we're done with it and we're gonna put it back together this is the more difficult part um, it's not as easy as it looks because you have to get this ribbon and get it to go underneath it, it's there's some slack on the other side of it connected to the board so what I like to do is leave the uh, leave this little latch here We'll have to pull this up to get it to connect, but I'll leave it down, and then I take my finger. Oh, let's get the battery out of here while we're, uh, I'm talking about safety. I should practice it myself. All right, battery's out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and my fingernail and kind of get it started, push that to where it's up against that line it up a little bit there we go so right now it's sitting where it needs to be so I'll have to lift this up and then you can take your little tool and yeah the, the kind of just push on that little hole right there and get it seated in there hope y'all can't see that See that little hole, grab that and make sure it's into the connector, into the, the plug there. And just pop that down. You'll hear a little click and that is it. So I'm not going to put the, uh, the inner back on until we verify this, but throw our battery back in here.
and take your fingernail and uh oh we have done something wrong oh no we didn't okay now i should have 39 35,975 as a puff counter or yeah or hit counter and now well i hit it a few times before i actually pulled on it so i what was it 75 i just hit the button three times so yeah every time one, one let's go one two three well i guess you got to hold it long enough for it to count as a hit yeah yeah you have to hold it long enough to actually get it to go so anyway that's it that is how you use this uh connector from friendly flipper uh there's probably some other companies that have these somewhere online uh, or you can find a schematic and make it yourself but like i said this uh board here should have may be made by evolve i'm pretty sure it is i'm not going to pull the heat shrink off just to uh to prove that but anyway but yeah the five pins there made up with these five holes here and you're good so end result and you know while you're in there in e scribe you can you can change all sorts of stuff um uh, i'll go back over and show you oops actually i closed e scribe so am i too late um there you can you could change all sorts of things the themes i mean the dna 60 doesn't have as many you know fun stuff you can change like the dna 75 or other 250 or whatever but nonetheless you can change if you know when you pull the when it comes i don't know why you'd want to take it off on your billet box but where it comes up says doug dino and all that good stuff billet box I, I wouldn't want to pull that off personally but hey if you wanted to you could do that um i remember somebody in the in the community somebody had gone into eScribe and uh changed one of these to their name which actually happened to be chris and that box got sold two or three times before the person that ended up with it just said you know i don't want this anymore and found somebody to send it to to take it off for them so but anyway guys this is chris built box info and uh well you can't see that because i'm not on the right screen for that and thanks for watching this should be one of the shortest videos i've done in a while but yeah this is how you set it up